Hi moms and dads, boys and girls, welcome back to the gym. Uh, today we are working on throwing and catching, but mostly throwing today. Uh, we are just starting unit on throwing, we'll be doing quite a bit in the next few weeks. And I want to talk briefly about uh, proper form for throwing, uh, because at this grade level that's kind of important, because then if they pick up bad habits here, they're kind of hard to break. So, uh, quickly I'll show you what's on the board, and then we'll talk about it, then I'll show you. And then at home you can practice also. Uh, overhand throwing. So our proper stance facing sideways, and I'll show you in just a second what we're talking about. Not facing directly at my target, but sideways. Um, your eyes on the target, of course. You're going to step in opposition, which means you lead with your opposite foot. And your opposite elbow is also going to kind of be your pointer, your aimer, is what we work on with kids. And then, of course, you got to follow through the entire motion to get the best throw that you can have. So those are the words. Here's what we worked on today <laughs> during... Uh, Pandemic throwing and catching, very interesting. Uh, we're using a lunch table as our partner, and the lunch table, if you hit the lunch table, uh, he will try to throw it back to you. It'll probably be a slow roller and kind of roll back to you if you hit him. Uh, he's not gonna move around and get it for you. So the kids learned today very carefully, or very quickly, that they wanna be careful in their aiming and they wanna make sure they get it to the lunch table. And if they miss it, they got more walking to do. So uh, they picked it up pretty quick, and I'm very pleased at the progress the kids made today. So back to stance. Uh, I'm going to turn and show you the lunch tables that we used. They're all lined up here, all the way across. You can see on top we've got some dodgeballs. That's for a little bit later after they warm up. Then they have a target aimed at but at first. They are simply aiming just at the lunch table. So I'm going to put you, I think, off to the side. And that way you'll be able to see me a little better, just like this. Okay. So if the lunch table is my target, I have to break the bad habit of standing facing directly at your target and throwing like this. So I talk to them, you're gonna turn sideways. I'm gonna turn sideways, I'm a righty, so I am turning that way. I am turning to my right, because I'm a righty. If I was a lefty, I would turn to my left. As a righty, I'm gonna turn this direction, but my head is gonna turn toward my target. And then my hand without the ball, elbow is kind of my lead, my pointer, and my leg that is closest to my target is gonna to step toward my target. And that all happens simultaneously. So I step, point, step through, throw, and I follow through. So the habit we're trying to break with a lot of kids is standing and throwing this direction or trying to two-hand throw. So this is a single hand, overhand throw, over the shoulder, overhand. Okay, so one more time. Turn to your right, you are facing to the right. My head turns toward my target. My toes are pointed this direction. I'm gonna step leading toward my target, elbow up. And then after I step, this arm comes through, I follow through, and after I throw, for the aiming part, I tell the kids that wherever your hand is aimed when you release the ball is the direction it goes. So if your ball is going too high, you release too high. If it's going too low, you release too low. Straight, you want to release it right in the middle. Okay? So, lots of overhand throwing today. As I said, we're throwing at lunch tables to make it kind of interesting. So whatever you have at home to throw against, Maybe you have another human at home. That would be even better. I'm jealous if you do. Uh, so we are using tables, so I hope that worked. And I'll add a little short video about you'll be able to see what the kids look like doing it. Have a good time.